Hey guys, Little V here, and I had a fun little idea to test just how well the Evertune bridge does its job. So as I've mentioned, I am an Evertune endorser, and uh, now that I am getting them installed into all of my guitars, I figured it'd be a really fun idea to have a before and an after comparison of the tuning stability before and after the Evertune. The test is actually super simple. Play for 30 minutes, check the tuning, and see if it holds up both before and after the Evertune. So for those of you who do know what an Evertune bridge is, skip to this time code and that'll get you right to the test. For those of you who don't, let me explain. So what is an Evertune bridge? It is a bridge that keeps your guitar perfectly in tune. A cool thing about it is it is a mechanical system. So uh, no batteries, no nothing like that. You just basically, you get it installed or you buy a guitar with one installed on it and it just works, which is awesome. So the big difference in the guitar after you get it installed is uh, you now have to tune via the bridge. You basically get an Allen key that comes with it and you tune in each individual saddle to set the tuning. Then you, here is your string height and then here is your intonation. The other weird difference is that your tuning pegs change uh, jobs. Basically, they determine what zone you're in on the guitar. There's three zones. Zone one is basically put your string through and string it up like you normally would, so just, you know, super slack, blah, 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 blah. Uh, zone two uh, keeps the guitar exactly in tune, which is, uh, what I mean by exactly, I mean like no bends, no nothing. So even if you try and bend it, it won't change the note can be really useful especially if you pick really hard and trying to get like a perfect rhythm part or something like that. Zone 3 works exactly like a regular guitar. You can bend the strings, so on and so forth. So we're about to go back in time to before the move. Uh, I apologize in advance, the camera was slightly out of focus and uh, I wasn't using a microphone, I was using the camera microphone, which honestly on that Canon kind of sucks. So uh, back in time. That was 30 minutes, and uh, let's just check. Let me go back to my clean channel here, and... Close, but that definitely... That G-string's out a little bit. Let's take a look. I'm a little tuner here. All right, so we've got... D's not bad. Our top first string is not bad. Ooh, second string is sharp. Second string is really sharp. Third string is also sharp. Fourth string is not bad. Fifth string is flat, just a hair. Ooh, and sixth string is pretty sharp. Probably from all the, uh, all the good old, uh, hold on a second here. Boop, and a boop. All that good old. Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's not a tuner. There we go. But, you know, with some, with some distortion. That kind of stuff. So, still holding this tuning pretty well, and honestly, in a live scenario, if you're playing for a 30 minute set, this would probably still do okay, but I'm really curious to see if the Evertune will keep it perfectly in tune from the start. Welcome back to the present. So now we have the guitar installed with an Evertune, and uh, not only that, we also have some different pickups too, just because, why the heck not? So it's the same type of strings, just like in the last video. This is an NYXL 1156. I'd also like to point out that this guitar has traveled from Calgary, Alberta to Montreal, Quebec. So about 3,700 kilometers, and it came out of the box in tune. So uh, that should uh, boast well for this test. Anyways, let's get to it. It's really toasty in this room. Anyways, that's been 30 minutes, so let's check the tuner on the Helix. Uh, kind of a weird design flaw, I can't actually use this microphone and check the tuning at the same time, it sounds as the mic. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to use my phone and we're just going to have a screen inside of a screen and you can see exactly what I'm seeing and how if it's in tune or not. So the proof's kind of in the pudding, isn't it? It's still in tune. If it was out, it was out by like a couple cents, which honestly I'd wager to be the fact that this room got really hot over the course of the 30 minutes and it's probably just shifting from the neck a little bit. But still, even with that slight shift in the wood, it still managed to compensate for it and keep it pretty much dead in tune the whole time, so. I'd say, yeah, the Evertune makes a pretty big difference. Anyways, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And if you want to see me do more stuff like this, feel free to leave a comment about it down below as well too. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button while you're at it. It's all right there in the same basic location. Anyways, I have been Little V. Rock on. Peace out. See you next time.